Hey, what's going on, people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone, and in this video, I'll be letting you know the dedicated drop spot for the Auto Magic EXE, a legendary pistol which was heavily buffed not too long ago. I'll be telling you who has an increased chance to drop it, give you tips on defeating them quickly, and explain what it does and how you can maximize its damage. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to, or you could even follow me on Twitter, and let's crack into it. So the Automagic EXE is a multi-projectile pistol that has an increased chance to drop from Banshee you fight around here in Wheat Wild Dankness. Banshee for me is the most annoying fight in the game, and that all stems from the mechanics. Morphing into its spirit after you've done some decent damage, the game of over and under, toxifying the floor what seems like every second, and those skulls that fly around and seem to down you out of nowhere. It's a fight that you have to play along with, but once you learn how it works, it's not as annoying as when you first started out. I received my first Auto Magic EXE after 9 kills, but that was with only a few lucky dice and not including her appearances in the Chaos Chamber. Drop rates are really dependent on your loot luck, which is unfortunate, and you may have a better time feeding the buff bunnies. But what of the Auto Magic EXE? How does it perform after its buff? If there's an Easter Bunny, then why haven't we heard of the Wester Bunny? Well, the Auto Magic EXE is a pistol manufactured by Stoker, which can only come elemental and comes in all of them. It fires multiple bullets per shot, either 3 or 4, consuming 2 to 3 ammo, and you'll find the least ammo hungry one to be best due to its slow reload speed. It has a moderate fire rate, but isn't very accurate, making it best suited to close range engagements. However, that is if you're not making use of its unique effect, which like Atlas Weapons in Borderlands 3, sees it come equipped with a tracker dart, which will tag enemies for its homing rounds to track into. That's not something that you'll find yourself using often, especially when you'll be missing out on potential critical hits, but can come in handy when dealing damage from long range. The damage buff it received was substantial, increasing its damage by 50% and transforming it from a lackluster legendary to one of the better pistols in the game. Ammo consumption is high and unlike the liquid cooling, you'll find yourself reloading often, making boost to reload speed a big factor in increasing its DPS. Due to its inaccuracy, critical hits can't be relied upon as much, forcing you to reduce the spread of its bullets by aiming down sights or getting extremely close to your target. Having a high crit chance will also help, and using From the Shadows is always good for less accurate weapons. Overall, the Auto Magic EXE is a good pistol, definitely up there with what pistols have to offer, and therefore legendary weapons as a whole. It won't light the field on fire, it's more suited to mobbing, but by coming in all elements, it'll always find a use in any combat situation. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, learn about the Auto Magic EXE and where you can get one the fastest. If you did, consider dropping a like or subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.